you know, it's definitely different. I think, um, you know, we're, we're doing these zoom meetings like we are now, um, over the computer. So, so it's definitely different than, than being in person, but I think it's going well, you know, we're, we're adjusting to the, to the different circumstances. I think guys are really picking up the, the system are able to, you know, learn and, and meet, you know, like we would in person, we're, we're able to, um, you know, get together, ask questions, um, you know, conversate with, with each other, with our coaches. So I, you know, I think it's been going well. It's, um, you know, the only thing I have to compare it to is, is last year and, and, you know, um, you know, different, but having the advantage of, of learning a system, I think, um, you know, it's helping me trying to find, you know, ways are similar ways are different and, and using that to, to learn as, as much as I can. Is it going to be like apples and oranges or like apples and a different kind of apple? Do you think this offense? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think there are definitely some similarities. I think, um, you know, I think when you look at, at any offense, um, th there'll be similarities, but um, you know, also a lot of differences. So I, I don't know if it, if it'll be, you know, apples to apples, but you know, a lot, of, a lot of stuff, a lot of ways I can find, uh, you know, comparisons and ways I can, um, you know, speed up my learning through, uh, through things I've learned in the past. Just some basic questions. Where are you and how are you throwing? Uh, I'm in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm staying uh, at my parents' house with my three siblings. So we're all hanging out here, packed in. Um, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm throwing with a, a small group of guys, uh, trying to social distance and, and do our best to do that. But at the same time, keeping my arm in shape, uh, staying in shape, trying to, trying to, uh, you know, stay on top of all that. But, um, you know, it's, it's uh, down here in Charlotte, it's, you know, we're, we're obviously doing our best to, to social distance, but in terms of using parks or using space outside, we're still permitted to do that. So um, I've been, I've been throwing with a couple guys. Are these college players or, you know, just friends or what? Yeah. Some college players, um, some, uh, people who, who I used to throw with in high school um, who went on to play college, different places, and then uh, several other guys. What are you working on in particular this off season from a techniques fundamental standpoint, when you looked at the film of last year, what did you pinpoint as areas where you needed to get better and, and how are you kind of attacking that uh, specifically this off season? Um, to me, I think the biggest thing is, is ball security and, and um, you know, particularly in the pocket, protecting the ball. Um, so, you know, I think that's a, that's a fundamental skill at the quarterback position. That's something that's, uh, you know, crucial, but, but also to me, a fairly simple uh, fix in that it's a, a mindfulness, a certain, um, you know, b being intentional to, to securing the ball, to having two hands on it, to, you know, when you're moving, when you're having to adjust in the pocket, you're, you're maintaining that uh, security. So um, I'm just trying to, trying to emphasize that, doing different drills, um, and making sure that, that I'm, you know, always cognizant of that and, and being uh, very intentional in, in that. All right, just a quick follow-up. Are you, are you having guys try to swat the ball out of your hand? How, how do you kind of simulate that in a, in a practice, in a park-type setting? Yeah, so I've, I've been working with um, a quarterback coach here, um, and, uh, you know, he's someone who, who helps me with that. And, I've, you know, we've, we've talked about it a lot, and he'll, he'll make sure I'm staying on top of that while um, – like you said, swatting at the ball and, and doing, trying to simulate uh, things that will happen in the game. Two, two questions, you know, along the same lines, as a young quarterback, how much do you think a, an unorthodox offseason like this can impact your development? And then my, my, follow, my second question is, what was, what was your opinion of Joe Judge for the first couple of months he was hired not throwing his weight behind you as a franchise quarterback and just kind of saying everyone has to compete for each job? Um, well, I think, uh, you know, this off season is obviously different for, for everyone, um, including me being a guy who's, who's trying to learn football, who's trying to, you know, obviously, um, you know, make, make a step in my second year playing, uh, you know, playing in the NFL, but, but, you know, everyone's dealing with these, these circumstances, everyone's having to, having to adjust. And, you know, I'm no different from that. You know, there's not going to be a, um, you know, no one's going to be giving breaks to people who are uh, working remote because everyone's, you know, working remote and having to do it. So, um, you know, I, I understand that. I don't think it, I don't think it'll be a disadvantage if, 
um, you know, we approach it like we have, if we approach it like the opportunity it is to, to use the time um, as well as we possibly can. And then uh, the question, uh, Coach Judge, um, yeah, I mean, I think Coach Judge has a, has a policy on that. He's got a, a way he's going to, um, you know, approach uh, those situations. And, and I, respect, I respect that. I respect his, um, you know, his emphasis on everyone earning their roles. And, and you know, I certainly wouldn't want it to be uh, any other way. I, you know, I want to earn my, earn my role as, as anyone else um, does theirs. I know earlier in the offseason you had a chance to bring some a uh, couple of receivers with you to Charlotte. How how valuable was that? And then how kind of have you been able to sim- – because obviously building chemistry in the offseason is a big part of being a quarterback with the wide receivers. How have you been able to simulate that? And and then I'll, I'll ask a follow-up when you're done with that. Uh, yeah, so that was valuable. We actually went to down to Duke, um, a couple of the guys, um, and threw for a little bit there. Um, and, that you know, that was valuable to get that time together. And um, – you know, I was actually back up in, in Jersey um, for most of the off season um, until this outbreak. So uh, I was able to throw with, with guys who are around there. Um, but, you know, I think we're all doing our best to, to stay in shape. I think, you know, these conversations, a lot of our, of our meetings have to do with, um, with routes, trying to get on the same page, trying to, you know, see things the same and, and talk through a lot of that, um, talk through a lot of those you know, finer points. So I think we can still work on those things. Although we're not able to get on the field, we can, you know, work to come to, um, you know, understandings about, you know, how we're going to run certain things when we're going to look certain, look for certain routes um, and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, that, that was a, a valuable time for sure. And how, how much of a responsibility do you feel like you have to take on a bigger leadership role now that you're in your second year and you've been around these guys a little more? Uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely, um, you know, feel that responsibility. I think that, um, you know, we, we have a lot of guys on our team who are, who are leaders who can step up and, and, uh, you know, organize guys and, and get, get things going in the right direction. But, you know, I feel that responsibility. I think that's, um, you know, something I, you know, I, I need to take seriously and I certainly do. You know, obviously when Jason Garrett gets hired as offensive coordinator, there, there's that feeling of, okay, we don't have the playbook yet. But I'm curious, did you dive right into Cowboys film as much as you could to try to see if, you know, obviously you connect the dots. And as Coach Judge told us last night, this offense that he's bringing here now is going to have a lot of similarities to what they did in Dallas. So I'm just curious, even before you got the playbook here, how much of your homework was on the Cowboys and studying what they did and trying to get a head start? Yeah, I think – um, you know, I, I certainly did that, uh, you know, diving into some of the, the Cowboys stuff and, and what they had done in the past. Um, you know, the rules make it tough to, um, you know, communicate a whole lot uh, about that stuff. So, so, you know, there's a little bit of patience involved in that and, and getting to the point where we could, uh, you know, get the playbook and, and uh, you know, kind of understand some of the some of the concepts and, and get some of the verbiage, but, um, you know, I did my best to, to be prepared for, for when I could, you know, get my hands on that stuff. Knowing you and how, how you are, I mean, I'm curious if you got, have you got the playbook as a whole yet? I know the coaches are kind of installing it piecemeal, but for you, do you have to pull back a little bit and not go too far ahead? Or are you kind of going as far as you can and, and seeing how much you can soak in even before it gets, it, you know, put into the, the meetings? Yeah, you know, I'm uh, I'm trying to stay on top of it. I think, um, you know, with with all this stuff, it, it's a lot of information. It's a you know a whole new system. So, um, you know, I'm trying to trying to work at the pace, uh, you know, we're asked to, and understanding as much as I can, uh, you know, thoroughly and and uh, and fully before before trying to trying to jump ahead and and it's not um, you know taught completely. So, um, you know, I think you know coaches have done a done a really good job. Um, like you said, separating, separating it out and giving it to us uh, piece by piece. And, and I'm trying to, trying to do my best to stay on top of it and, and uh, you know, be prepared for, for the meetings we're having. And I know you said, um, you know, generally there's some similarities, some differences. I'm curious if you could identify just what some of the biggest differences are in this offense from what you ran last year. I mean, I think, you know, the, verb- the verbiage will be different. Um, you know, how, how they call – how they name concepts and, and um, you know, obviously formations and motions are different. I think, 
you know, that's probably the biggest thing. I think, um, you know, there'll certainly be different concepts. There'll be uh, concepts that we're going to read different ways, um, you know, but there'll also be some similar concepts and you notice some, some similarities that, you know, you, you get plays that um, it seems like, you know, a lot of teams in the NFL run. So, um, you know, there's, there's similarities, but, but I think the differences are kind of in the verbiage and, um, you know, how we're going to call certain things. Curious, in the draft, they took Andrew Thomas number four. They took three linemen. They really committed to the offensive line. I'm wondering what, you know, makes you the most excited and what you think the biggest impact is going to be to the organization really committing to building up the line in front of you as a young quarterback. Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, I'm excited to get to work with those guys. I think, um, you know, Andrew and, and uh, you know, the rest of the guys we, dra we drafted, uh, you know, I'm excited to work with them. I think, um, you know, they're coming in and I think they understand um, the responsibility they have, the, the uh, you know, they have to earn their roles like, like everyone else does. So, um, you know, I think they understand that. They're taking that seriously. But, um, you know, I'm excited to get to work. I'm excited to, um, you know, do what I can to, to help, um, you know, help the team and work with them um, as we go forward. I mean, having guys like Will and Andrew and potentially even someone like Shane Lemieux and yourself all drafted in the last three years, do you allow yourself to think about, okay, these might be the guys that are protecting me for the most of my career and we can kind of grow and develop and gel together? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, right now we're certainly focused on on what we're doing, uh, you know, ahead, working toward this year, working toward – the 2020 season and, and, you know, what that is, what that looks like right now, or, you know, are these zoom meetings and, and working together, you know, coach has made a big point about, about getting to know, um, you know, our teammates and, you know, even though, even though we're not, you know, in the building and around each other every day that we, you know, make a point to, to get to know guys, to reach out to guys and stay in touch. So I think, you know, those are the things we're focused on right now. I think, um, you know, those, those are the important things working toward this, this 2020 season. Do you go into this season saying, this is my team? And part two, what kind of leader will you be? Um, I think, you know, going into this year, uh, like I said earlier, I certainly, you know, feel the responsibility of being a leader. I think that's something, you know, I take, I take seriously. But, you know, it's our team. I don't know if it's, it's one guy's team. It's not, uh, you know, it's not coach's team. It's not my team. It's not uh, – you know, Saquon's team or, or anyone else's. I think it's, it's our team. And, and I, you know, understand that. I think, you know, leadership wise, um, you know, I'm going to do my best to, to first, uh, you know, take care of, of what I'm doing, take care of, of my responsibility, be prepared and, and, uh, you know, playing at a high level. And then I think, um, you know, certainly that, um, you know, hopefully that, you know, rubs off on guys and, and trying to do my best to, um, to bring guys, um, trying to, you know, help guys and work with guys, um, as best I can. But, you know, I think at this point, um, you know, the, what we're doing right now, we need to, uh, you know, stay on top of our information, make sure we're, we're doing our best to be prepared when we can get back up to New Jersey. I'm curious how life's changed for you right now compared I think last year at this time, like right after the draft, we read a quote that you like some guy at an ice cream store didn't even recognize you or something like that. Uh, how's life changed for you around Charlotte? Are you, for lack of a better term, are you famous now? Can you go out to restaurants? Do more people recognize you? You're an NFL quarterback living with his parents and his siblings. How is it different or does it feel like, you know, it did when you were in college? Uh, I mean, it feels pretty, pretty similar to how, how it did in college. I don't, I don't get recognized much around here um you know obviously we're not going out a whole lot really or um you know going to restaurants all that often but but when i you know when i am out i'm, I'm not often recognized so um you know it's it's probably pretty similar to how it was last year the year before and uh when i was growing up here in charlotte and then just from a draft standpoint you mentioned the offensive linemen you guys didn't draft any running backs any receivers it's pretty much you and the skilled players from last year. So do you guys feel a certain that the offense has to be ahead of the defense while the defense integrates all its new pieces? Do you, does the offense feel a certain pressure, I guess, to be a, to lead the way? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I think, um, 
you know, we're, we're certainly going to, going to do our best to, to be prepared and, and to be ready to go uh, when we get back up there. But, um, you know, something coaches emphasized and, and, and made clear to us, you know, it's about the team. It's about offense, defense, uh, special teams and, and making sure we're, we're all complimenting each other. So, um, you know, we're, we're not uh, concerned with, with one side of the ball leading the other or, um, you know, like you said, out, out in front of the other for any reason. We're, we're going to, you know, make sure we're, we're working together. It's about, um, you know, all three sides of the ball being prepared and, and doing their job. I have a two-part question for you. I know Coach Szuplinski has been in your ear most of the time, but I was wondering if you could talk about the advantages of working with Coach Garrett, who is a former NFL quarterback, what he possibly brings to the equation and your learning process that maybe you didn't have before. And then second part, I'll just wait until you answer the first part. Okay. Um, Yeah, it's been great working with um, Coach Szuplinski and Coach Garrett. Um, I think both guys have a, have a ton of experience uh, working with quarterbacks. And like you said, um, Coach Garrett played in the NFL um, for a long time. And, uh, that, you know, that's helpful experience too. So uh, I'm trying to do my best to, to learn from them, from pick up, uh, you know, as much as I can and, and stay on, like I said, stay on top of the information. But um, it's been going well so far and, you know, I've enjoyed working with them. And then the second part of my question has to do with Cooper Rush. He, of course, played with Coach Garrett down in Dallas. He's familiar with the system, the language and stuff. What has it been like having him in the room with you, and how has that helped your learning process, maybe expediting it and just grasping it? Yeah, he's been, he's been great to have in the room uh, so far. You know, he's been in the system for, for a number of years and, and understands it well. So, um, you know, he's able to answer a lot of our questions and, um, like you said, kind of speed up that learning process. So, um, you know, we've enjoyed having him. I was just wondering, uh, you know, you've had a little time to digest the playbook. I'm wondering when you look at it, how, why does it fit? Why do you think it maybe it does fit your skill set or fit the skill set of the players you have around you? Like, what is it that you think can be successful for you and, and this team in general with this playbook and with this offense that you're going to run? The biggest thing is it's it's been successful. It's you know scored a lot of points and and uh, you know gained a lot of yards. I think you know when you compare it to you know one you know I've only played in the NFL for for one year, so um, you know I'm not sure. I nec- you know there's a lot out there I, I haven't done. There's a lot out there I you know I I don't know. So um, you know trying to fit a system a certain way because of me I don't you know I'm not sure it makes sense. But the system's been uh, been successful I think you know when you look at it guys have guys have been successful in it I think that's that's the biggest thing you know I feel like we have we have a lot of guys who can make plays we got guys you know at every position who can make plays so I think um, you know you'll you'll see that in the system like like you've seen it in the past have you talked to any of those guys that have been in the system in the past like a Tony Romo say or people like that about the system uh, I have a little bit, um, you know, not, not a ton, uh, to be honest with you, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure I will kind of, as we get going. Is that, is that a lot not talking to, but to talking to Tony Romo or just people in general? Sorry. Uh, yeah, Tony, I, I, uh, I spoke with Tony briefly, but I, you know, I didn't, we didn't get into the, the system a whole lot. So, um, uh, you know, I, I look forward to, to talking to some of those guys and, and, and hearing their perspective on it. Has it been different without Eli being being in there? Also, it's been different because we're because we're on the computer. But um, yeah, Eli not being there is, is different. You know, the team the team is a little different. But uh, you know, we're we're uh, we're adjusting and and um, you know making making it work, making the best of it. So it's been uh, it's been good. You just talked about Eli uh, last week. He was on the radio and he said that he thought things were going to be a lot easier for you this year with him gone, and that it was probably a bit awkward for you to take over the team with the guy you were replacing still being on the roster. When you look back, was it awkward at all? And do you think he's right that it probably should be a little easier for you now that uh, Eli's gone? You know, I think looking back, you know, there, there was definitely, um, you know, probably a little bit, a little bit awkward at times, certain times, but um, you know, I think we did a, we did a good job working together. I know, I know I enjoyed uh, working with him and, and, you know, certainly learned a ton from, from him and, and, um, you know, appreciate, 
everything he did um, during that year. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. I think, it, you know, it'll certainly be different, like we're saying, um, you know, different, different in the room. But, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed working with Eli last year. I thought it was a huge advantage for, for me to, to, to be able to learn from him and, uh, and talk to him, you know, every day. So it'll be different. It'll, it'll be an adjustment, but, um, you know, we're looking forward to, looking forward to, to this year, to this, uh, to this team we have. Uh, Daniel, I was wondering, um, when you talk to the guys, you know, either on these Zoom things or privately, is there a lot of discussion about what's going on, uh, updates, um, I'm hearing this, You, what are you hearing, what's it like in your community, you know, when do you think we can get back? You know, there's a lot of anxiety with a lot of people, you know, when is going to become normal? Obviously, it's not your control of anything, but, you know, is there an anxiety or a feeling of, you know, when we get back, is it going to be safe? The guys talk about safety and things like that. You know, just like probably everyone, uh, you know, across the country is right now, uh, you know, wondering about those things, wondering about how, um, you know, how it is in certain communities, how guys are feeling about it, how, you know, people's families are doing with it. And, and certainly, you know, being cognizant of what's going on uh, in New Jersey and in New York, I think, you know, we're, we're talking about that like anyone else does, but, you know, I, I'm not sure anyone has a, has a great idea about any of it or, or really knows, um, you know, like you said, when we'll, when we'll get back up there. So, um, you know, the, the only thing we can really do is, is focus on, on these, uh, you know, OTAs, on these Zoom meetings and, and doing what we can to be prepared whenever that, um, you know, whenever the opportunity to get back up there, up there is.